Hey, welcome to Spellbound. I'm BJ the Book Witch. You might have noticed my absence the past few weeks, and that's because things have been pretty busy here around Laureate Manor. My brother and his wife are expecting, which means it is time for me to claim my rightful title as Auntie Beach, and I am taking it upon myself to ensure that this baby is welcomed into this world with a library full of books. So that's what this is. This is the first of many, I imagine, baby book hauls for building a baby's library. So Baby Birdie still has a few months before they make their debut, but I think I've got a pretty good handle on this book stuff. So far, I've got a healthy balance between books about nature and bedtime stories. So let's get started and I'll show you what I've got. The first is Babies in the Forest, and this is a board book, and it is Baby's first Lift the Flaps book, and it follows two foxes, Rusty and Ruby, as they explore the forest together. Babies in the Forest. Next is All Aboard National Parks by Kevin and Haley Myers. This is another board book and it explores national parks. All Aboard National Parks. Next is My Little Forest by Katrine Wiley. And this book is made of 100% recyclable materials and it's a board book. My Little Forest. I Give You the World by Stacy McCleary. I give you the world. And Happiness is a Rainbow by Patricia Higardi. <music> Happiness is a Rainbow, a book about weather by Jill McDonald. A Book About Weather by Jill McDonald. This is All Year Round by Carolina Buzio. And this is one of those completely indestructible books, like it's tear proof and rip proof and water resistant and also washable. Um, anyway, it's pretty cool. It's a paperback. It just talks about the seasons. All Year Round by Carolina Buggio. And speaking of seasons, we have Goodbye Winter, Hello Spring by Kennard Pack. The beautifully illustrated Goodbye Winter, Hello Spring. We also have Summer Song by Kevin Henkes. In the Middle of Fall by Kevin Henkes. And Winter is Here by Kevin Henkes. Next is Woodland Dreams by Karen Jameson. I think this one might be my favorite. 
sort of like Good Night Moon, but for forest creatures. Come home, big paws. Berry picker, honey trickster, shadow deepen in the glen, lumber back inside your den. Come home, velvet nose. Antlered swimmer, pondweed skimmer, daylight's feeding, way to shore, bed down in the green outdoors. Come home, tiny hooves. Come home, swift legs. Furry schemer, red-tailed dreamer, night winds blowing, trot this way. Mountain dens, your hideaway. Come home, long ears. Come home, hard shell. Come home, strong beak. So, that's Woodland Dreams by Karen Jameson. Next is Because of an Acorn by Lola and Adam Schaefer. So I think this one's kind of like Give a Mouse a Cookie, except sweet. Because of an acorn, a tree, because of a tree, bird, because of a bird, a seed, because of a seed, and so on. Because of an Acorn by Lola and Adam Schaefer. Moon, a peek through picture book by Britta Trekatrup. Trekentrup. Trekentrup. Britta Trekentrup. Mm -hmm. Moon. I love these illustrations. Moon by Britta Trekkentrup. The Honey Bee by Kristen Hall. A bee. Bee. The Honey Bee by Kristen Hall. And I got some bedtime stories. So, the classic Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. Um, this is probably my favorite baby book of all time, although the forest version, um, Woodland Dreams, I think, might, might be a close contender. Um, so, Good Night Moon. I think we all know what it looks like, but this is a pretty cool version. It's because it's a board book with a foam um, cover. And um, for anyone who's curious, this I know that it says red balloon. This is definitely an orange balloon. Um, you can see it right here. I'm not crazy. It's the color orange. It's not red. The color of the book is orange and it is the same color as this stupid balloon. Um, it's definitely orange. Mm -hmm. Orange. Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. I also got Good Night Little Monster by Helen Ketteman. Good Night Little Monster by Helen Ketteman. My first bedtime storybook featuring some of the Disney classics, uh, Lion King, Dumbo, and Jungle Book. I think it has a lot of different stories in it. See, here's Alice, Alice in Wonderland, Jungle Book, Bambi. Hundred and One Dalmatians. Uh, there's a lot in this book. My first bedtime story book. My first bedtime story book. 
Five Minute Stories Over 50 Tales and Fables. And they're all pretty um, illustrated. Five Minute Stories Over 50 Tales and Fables. And finally, after a good night sleep for Baby Birdie, I got a Good Morning Yoga book. With It's a board book with very simple yoga poses to help stretch in the morning. Well, there you go. Not yet a well-rounded collection, but it's a pretty good start, I think. The baby will know absolutely everything there is to know about the forest, and they'll have a beautifully developed imagination for bedtime dreaming. So what about you? What was your favorite baby book? Let me know down below if I'm missing any crucial staples here. And thanks so much for sticking around. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you loved it, hit subscribe. And there's always Instagram. Take care, and as always, Happy reading.